Um, I thank Natalie for flattering me. The truth is I'm not um, the leader of security here. Um, Y'all are. Everybody is responsible for the collective security, safety, and everyone's needs being met here, keeping each other safe, uh, keeping each other secure, and making sure that everybody is able to uh, fully participate in this convention. Um, we have a lot of disabled comrades, and uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. So it's up to us to modify that space to make sure that uh, everybody is able to move in the ways that they need to move. Um, first of all, in this room, I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really important because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something like reducing that, that's really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. Um, we have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? On 7, there's one that has video but no sound, if you still want to be able to observe the convention, but the sound is an issue. There's also on Piedmont 8, a completely quiet room. One thing to note there, please don't go into that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance, right? Um, because that's going to be difficult for people. The, the principle of collective security is we don't want to put people in stressful situations that they don't consent to, right? And we have to be accountable to each other that our actions might have negative uh, consequences for other people. If you, we're also talking about de-escalation, right? Um, because people are going to have different experiences of things that some others might think is normal heatedness, and I think in some of that there's an inevitability there, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative effort to de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? If you are having a conflict with somebody, feel free to step away, right? We're going to make sure that you can get out of that space. Let somebody else step away if they need to step away, right? Um, don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. All, we're almost there. Just uh, this, but thank you. Um, we, are, we are safe and we are strong because there's power in collective, uh, in collective work. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, and we're going to rely on you to, to make that happen. So I'm very happy to be working with you on this project. And I hope everyone has a great convention. I'm going to hand it to Natalie to make one quick announcement. Okay. We have are two mics up front. We also have two additional mics that are being run. So if, for example, you make a point of information or a point of privilege, um, please, you know, keep your hand up um, or stand if, if, you, if you can, and they will run a mic to you.